Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Asim. I'm working as a DevOps engineer. Today I'm going to show you how you can deploy WordPress uh, project in Docker via using the GitLab CI CD pipeline. And we are going to deploy um, this in a AWS Beanstalk service. So let's begin. So uh, one thing I need to tell you regarding this project is that uh, it is for the beginners and who, who want to learn actually the uh, CI CD uh, and the GitLab is the best place you can use the Jenkins as well later on I'm going to provide you videos with regard to the Jenkins as well but currently I'm gonna show you that GitLab is also a very powerful tool um, we are not going uh, to host any you know um, GitLab runners we are going to use the GitLab default runners and one thing I need to tell you that the GitLab is totally free you can create account and you will get about 2000 free minutes every month for the deployment uh, we are going for the default runners forget about uh, the trial version this is just for the goal in free version you get lot more stuff uh, with regard to the GitLab so uh, uh, let's begin you can dig more let me show you a little bit of uh, GitLab so if you go to the GitLab and go to the pressing uh, section you will find that um, this is the self-managed and self-hosted and this is the GitLab SaaS offering hosted by GitLab it's totally free per month you will get about uh, 2000 free minutes I think which are more than enough you see 2000 CICD pipeline we don't have to uh, you know host any of the um, GitLab uh, just we like for Jenkins do for Jenkins so now what I'm going to do uh, I'm going to deploy one click um, WordPress deployment let me delete my first deployment which I have done via the GitLab the project is available on my free public repository QuickBooks 2018 AWS section I am going to share this link as well and this is the GitLab WordPress Beanstalk zip uh, so you have to simply um, create a GitLab account and uh, with regard to that you can watch videos and uh, you can uh, use my project for the deployment it will be a great learning stuff for you uh, uh, to uh, in a sense that you will be able to know how you can um, deploy the uh, WordPress using Beanstalk and uh, using the GitLab CI CD so this is my private repo for GitLab but as I told you that project I shared with you guys uh, in a public repo you can download that and create on uh, create your own repo so these are the fi files in the project and uh, it works just like a GitLab so uh, if you go to the CICD section and go to the pipeline simply uh, what I'm going to see this is the previous deployment so I'm going to run my pipeline with regard to the uh, deployment of WordPress in a Beanstalk so I'm going to run this pipeline okay so it is running and if I go to the jobs sections let me show you guys the output while we deploying see see it is running and uh, GitLab is runner uh, on the back end is automatically uh, putting this project on their default GitLab runners so you see these are the shared runners uh, of GitLab and uh, we are going to deploy this project GitLab uh, WordPress Beanstalk currently it is in the pipeline and uh, this um, command line shows um, shows all the steps which we have followed with regard to the deployment although I have not used uh, 
variables which I should do for the need deployment but this is just for the you know learning purpose to share or give you an idea how it has been done so in the first step what I am doing uh, I'm uh, installing AWS CLI and I'm going to use the AWS uh, uh, CLI along with the pip and I'm going to also use uh, uh, install the Elastic Beanstalk CLI uh, let me show you guys it is going to be after that so let me show you you see this is the EB for Elastic Bean uh, stock deployment I have copied or uh, into my you know bin folder so let me show you guys the command as well and yeah this is the one pip install AWS EBCLA so uh, what is it is done see this is the AWS version of AWS CLA and I'm going to show you guys if I'm going to refresh you will see the project here which we are going to deploy uh, WordPress project uh, this is the cloud elegant project so this is the project uh, we are deploying currently and all the output is also showing in this build uh, which is in the default uh, runners so all the packages all the backend stuff is already set up um, and I've also done some uh, changes with regard to the deployment of WordPress it is a multi container project because we are using the multi container in a sense that you know in WordPress we are using the uh, database as well in this case I'm going I'm, I'm using the database uh, of MariaDB and connecting it with the WordPress so you see this is the deployment is currently in place and it is in the AWS Frankfurt region so uh, while uh, this is uh, in you see uh, I am going to show you while it is deploying what it is creating uh, it is launching an EC2 instance at back end you don't have to do anything in, you know it is creating a load balancer and uh, in my GitLab desk uh, just this and I'm going to show you the file as well GitLab CGA.yml file yep uh, GitLab CGA.yml file and I need to show you guys that I'm using the uh, application load balancer you see the ELB type is the application load balancer uh, for the docker it is recommended for the dynamic code host uh, port mapping so I'm using the application load balancer uh, in target group uh, you will see the EC2 instance uh, which is launching uh, currently it will be uh, initializing and it will be uh, in unhealthy state but what I have done is giving this by wp-login.php so when we deploy uh, initialize the uh, WordPress it will be uh, it will be in the healthy state the current status you will uh, see from here as well so currently it is in the deployment state so let me show you guys uh, you see WordPress is now available you see it is just one click deployment via the uh, GitLab CACD let's go and I've used Beanstalk uh, is my preference which is best for deploying the uh, pass applications platform as a service so I'm going to give the username root 
and the password is password and the database host I'm not going to use the IP in fact I'm going to use the MariaDB uh, because uh, uh, DNS resolution is available so uh, if the IPs or if the IP of the that docker container is changed you don't have to manually put that instead the name is going to resolve this uh, for us so run the installation you see it has been accepted so I'm going to say the title is cloud legend and let's the user say awesome is the user and just it's a demo just use this password and install or press here so I'm not going to save it so you see uh, mm, login you see I'm not going to log in you see this is the uh, WP dash login PHP for the health status I've chosen so uh, when the deployment is done and uh, we will see the instance uh, currently in unhealthy state and it is going to be healthy after uh, the health status checks which we have set for the default is uh, 3 and an unhealthy threshold so you will see the targets become healthy you see it is now healthy and if you go to the uh, elastic beanstack uh, environment you will uh, get the health status of ok as well so um, okay, let's go to the build as well you will see at the end of the say job succeeded so it is a perfect build that's a good sign so uh, we have to wait for a few minutes uh, with regard to the ELB health status check or if you if you just refresh it uh, after a while uh, you will see the ok screen you see the health status is ok our wordpress deployment um, is done perfectly and it is running uh, on this URL you can use the HTTPS as well uh, we are using the application load balancer and you can use this URL as the CNAME of your domain name and uh, you can use this in production uh, for WordPress uh, I recommend you you know it is a, a good uh, it's a great learning stuff for you guys to deploy this project um, although it is not very uh, highly modified by me as far as the I, I told you regarding the use of variables and all that stuff but for learning purpose I just you know use the single container and uh, sorry I use the single EC2 instance and we have deployed the multiple uh, EC2 containers on it so let me show you guys little bit more regarding this I'm going to uh, copy this and uh, I'm going to SSH into this so uh, just a second please I'm going to use this uh, as my you know PAM file for logging into this uh, EC2 instance which we have deployed just to show you guys uh, mind you that by default SSH uh, security is widely open which I don't recommend you can change that um, via the options of the elastic beanstalk using CLI which I'm not going to show you so currently because of the lack of time so just I want to show you that you can log into this and uh, I'm going to say sudo hyphen I I just want to show you the multiple container that's why I've logged in you see multiple containers are launched uh, which of Mari, which is of MariaDB uh, and uh, with regard to the WordPress and the third one is of ECS agent if you go to the ECS service let me show you guys as well in the same region if you go to the ECS you will see more stuff with regard to the deployment we have done because uh, it is a multiple container and I've also uh, show you guys the beanstalk uh, configuration logs you can see the health 
and you can see uh, the monitoring from here and if you go to the uh, this is the perfect tool I guess Beanstalk for the deployment if you go to ECS and if you go to the task definitions uh, this is active let me show you guys regarding the cluster I want to show you guys it will show us the uh, complete output just a minute okay if you go to go to the tasks okay if you, just a second please okay this is the stuff uh, which is uh, with regard to the our deployment uh, you see if if I s just um, show you guys the maria db uh, uh, the passwords which i've used in my deployment although it's just a sample all stuff is there uh, you see container path and source volume is the uh, maria db because i've used it, i'm using the persistent persistent volume so you don't have to worry about that uh, your data will be lost so this is the container path and this is the source volume path on our uh, ec2 instance so uh, this is the uh, stuff guys you can explore more there are more uh, uh, things you can see the logs and the monitoring health status uh, you can explore much more uh, with regard to the deployment you have done uh, via the uh, by the elastic beanstalk so thank you guys please like and share this stuff thank you take care